afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swiss Show market review of the QQQs. What a phenomenal move the market had in the minutes announcement this afternoon. This is outstanding. I actually sat and watched this. I've got nothing done this afternoon, and I didn't go long this. I didn't trade the market this afternoon, but I called this to happen. I even said there was a chance we could get over the high on the minutes announcement. We're, we actually could, except for we're going to run out of day because it's 3.32 and the market closes in less than 40 minutes. But if we if it, we did not close at 4 o'clock, the market would make a new high here in the QQQs. It would just keep going. This is straight up. This is so gorgeous. I just sat here all afternoon and watched this happen. And my jaw, if you took a picture of me and were seeing me live, sitting here at my desk, my jaw was on the floor. I don't know why I would even be surprised because I did call this to happen. But every time I accurately predict something that's amazing like I did with this, I still am in awe of it because it just reaffirms my own personal conviction and confidence level and what I know about, about charts, about price, about gaps. Jeez, this is like so... Super califragilistic is the only word here I can come up with. Uh, if this was the open, which which it's not, it's two o'clock, okay? But one, two, three, four. It's four minutes. So if this was the open of the day of the market, which it's not, it was, was a minutes, this is well, this would have swooshed. Okay. A swoosh is something that happens into the open. But pretend this was the open. This isn't a swoosh because it didn't happen in the open. A stock swoosh, okay? But I'm saying if it was the open, then this would be a stock swoosh. So let's review it, okay? Shall we? Back in October of 2014, on this bullish gap here, that really didn't look like much, but I just saw everything for 2015 in this gap, that I knew the market would make a new high in 2014, which it did, before the end of the year, which it did. Continued rallied up here, ran up here in around the Thanksgiving period, and that was the high for the market of the year, around 1128 of 2014, 106.24. I knew we'd get over that. We could have even got over December, but we didn't. December was back and forth. What I call neutral slash bullish. But a lot of people thought it was bearish. And some people would have even said neutral slash bearish, but I called it neutral slash bullish. I'm really still bullish. Anyways, we could have made it no high before the end of the year. We didn't. We started out tough going here in January, but I knew we'd continue higher, and we did. February was a very bullish month. We did nothing but rally, almost straight up to the sky, and made another new high, and then people still were convinced we're going to commit. And then people shorted this, and you see the series here of the lower highs and lower lows, and you also see there were bearish gaps. Okay? And every time we did a big, big red bar like this in here, and even these ones in here, I looked and double-checked to see, I just kept checking. And I was looking at the bearish gaps here. And I, w I didn't rate these gaps. I don't think I rated these gaps. I don't even remember. I might have rated one of these. Anyways, I knew that there wasn't anything here significant to break the chart. And I knew we'd get over this, and I knew we'd make a new high. And in the last few days, I even said, we're going to get over all of this, like, really quickly. And then when someone said the minutes were this week, which I didn't know until, like, Monday, I said, oh, my lanta, we're going to do it on Wednesday. And I said, we're going to do it Wednesday. Not that we need a reason, but, which we don't, but I said, we're going to do it then Wednesday with the impetus of the announcement, of the minutes announcement, which is what is happening. And... This is amazing. And all, everyone in here, everybody still keeps saying the market's going to crash. And do you know that after today, people will still say the market's going to crash? Do you know that after the market makes a new high, rallies over 110, people will still short the market? They will short it. The U.S. stock market this year in 2015 is going to go to a bigger number than it's ever had before as far as the percentage of the move. It's going to have literally from from the period of the year where we started this year, which we're really, actually, where did we open for the year? <clears throat> Let's just be accurate. Okay, on, on January 2nd, we opened at 103.76. My call for the QQQs this year is to hit 150. 
the SPY hits 300, which is my call for the SPY, the QQ is will hit 150. 150 is actually a realistic target. That's 50 points away, but it's a 30% move almost in the ETF for the QQQs for the year. And that's a phenomenal move for this market to make in one calendar year. It is going to be at 110 in the next week or more. It's March. And what is going to continue to make it move higher? Buying. Buying that comes in. This is this is buying. This is so gorgeous. This is new buying into the market. New money. Not the end of a move. Another move. More money coming in. Not for a day. For with weight. Okay. With weightiness to it. And this was buying in here. And people are going to keep shorting this and then continue to get stopped out, which will push the market higher, and it's continuing to get bought anyway. So again, let's review. Lots of things going on. Buying coming into the market, which is institutional money that's buying the market and has been buying the market. It's going to continue to buy the market. Late people that have not bought or got out are going to get back in at different periods all along. Those people are going to be in and out, in and out at different periods throughout the entire year. Traders who missed the long move aren't buying this now, didn't buy it earlier, didn't buy it in January, didn't buy it in February, didn't buy it in October, didn't buy it in November, are probably upset they didn't buy and truly believe in the concept of lower highs and lower lows in reference to looking at a trend, which is incorrect, and will insist that they are going to, that this market will cap off at some point and stop and halt at some point and they'll keep guessing when that is and continue to short and continue to get stopped out and lose, 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 lose. That's going to keep happening, and we'll push the market then over the number. So the lift of the shorts getting stopped out. Retail buyers coming in late, and money just driving the market up, which is new money coming in, which is power money, is going to lift the market higher this year to go to these numbers that I'm giving. And I saw it, I saw it like in September, but when then I saw the gap in October, I said, oh, my Lanta. And then I knew, I knew. No chance of failure, 100% conviction, market higher and very bullish this whole year of 2015. I sat here for an hour and a half. I just sat here and watched this. I'm destined to do this. Not only am I destined to trade, which I knew, I have known that for years. I actually know something else now, too, which is that I'm actually destined to teach people this, too. And that was something that I never planned on doing, never anticipated, never thought ever. But I, what I know is so special. And the skill that I have to predict what things are going to do before they happen in such a phenomenal way is so special. It's a gift that I'm, I'm sharing with the world. I share it with the world when I do videos, and I share it with the world when I teach my class. Even though people are paying me for it, I'm still sharing the information because I don't have to do that. And I'm sharing my gift, my gift with the world of the things that I see that stocks and the market are going to do before they do them that people can listen to me and, and listen to what I'm saying and actually use the information to make money. And people that are trading with me are the luckiest people of all. The luckiest people of all are the people that have done my Golden Gap class and trade with me live every day because they hear everything I say, are becoming excellent traders, and I've actually have a trading room that has great traders. That's unheard of in this, in this industry. And it's all due to the fact that people really know that I can do it because they see me so often and they listen to me and they take my trades. And this is a phenomenal move here in the market today. And I am just so blessed. I'm, I, I'm blessed. I'm blessed and grateful because I have a skill to do this that is a gift. The market is higher this year. And you can go back and watch every market video I have called for the last two years. And go back to the ones I did in October or even too in November. This is fantastic. Beautiful move today in the QQQs and the SPY. I have no idea where we got tomorrow morning. I don't even know where we're going to close, so I can't even say that for sure. 30 more minutes to go. But I do know that we would have made a new high today if we wouldn't be closing at 4 o'clock, but we will. And we'll see what the market does tomorrow. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic bullish move rally in the market today. That, my friends, is power buying, and it's gorgeous. It's institutional money. And I know how to do this because I know how to read gaps. And learning how to read gaps right has taught me how to read trends. And it also has taught me numbers, like where this proper support and resistance is, where targets are. It's taught me what proper stocks to short or buy. It's taught me how to read the market. All of the things that I know how to do is because I know how to read gaps. And you can learn that from me. 
you take the Golden Gap class, you can learn how to trade from me. There's just nothing like this. The reason that I've become so good at trading is because I know how to read gaps right. And a lot of people are absolutely horrible at reading gaps. And a lot of people actually don't even read trends right. And a lot of people thought this market was for sure lower in January. And all along, I kept double, triple, triple checking it. Looked at the gaps, looked at the gaps, looked at the gaps, looked at the gaps, and said, no, we're higher. And look what we did, and now look at this today. This is so great, people. So if you're interested in the Golden Gap class, email me. Deadline is Friday to sign up for the next class. It's March 21st and 22nd. Have a fantastic evening, everyone. Enjoy yourselves. And if you'd like to sign up for the next Golden Gap class, email me. This is Melissa with the StockSwitch.com. Gorgeous market. U.S. stock market, 2015, no chance of failure. Bullish, 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 bullish. No crash in sight. Email me if you have any questions.